One of the most picturesque locations in the entire world is the Simeon Mountains National Park. It is a premier tourist location in the entire continent, drawing thousands every year. In this video, we discuss 12 important facts about the Simeon Mountains National Park that nobody can ignore. It's a pretty place, sure, but there's so much more to it than just that. 12. It is the largest national park in Ethiopia. The Simeon Mountains National Park is the largest national park in Ethiopia. Located in the North Gondor zone of the Amhara region, its territory covers the highest parts of the Simeon Mountains and includes Ras Dashan, the highest point in Ethiopia. It has been inhabited and cultivated for at least 2,000 years. Even though most people visit to experience nature and wildlife, the indigenous settlers form a vital part of the charm of the park. 11. It receives about 26,000 people a year. The Simeon Mountains National Park is an important location that receives upwards of 26,000 visitors a year. This high volume of visitors speaks to the relevance and attractiveness of the location. The money generated by these visitors helps maintain the park and keep both the indigenous human settlers and wildlife safe. As the years go by, the number of visitors is likely to increase as well. 10. It offers views over more than 10,000 square kilometers. The Simeon Mountains National Park offers views over a wide range. Specifically, you can see over an area of 10,000 square kilometers. It is one of the areas of Earth which has been largely untouched by the yoke of urbanization. Even though there are some institutions available to coordinate visitors, raw, untamed nature stretches out for miles on end. The mountains themselves are commonly called the Roof of Africa. 9. It is the highest point in the Horn region of Africa. The Horn region of Africa is the easternmost peninsula of the African continent, excluding islands. It includes such countries as Somalia, Kenya, and predictably Ethiopia. The Simeon Mountains National Park is the highest point in the entire Horn region. When maximizing to include the entire continent, it comes in at 10th place. The highest point, known as the Ras Dashan, stands at 4,550 meters above sea level. 8. It takes 9 to 10 days to reach the mountain. Reaching the Simeon Mountains National Park itself is a long journey. Once visitors arrive at Debark, they must make the journey to Ras Dashan, the highest point. But then the journey itself is about 70% of the appeal of the entire visit. It's on the journey to Ras Dashan that most visitors find the magic of the Simeon Mountains. Encounters with local settlers and local wildlife a lot tend to happen during the journey. Reaching the peak is just the icing on top. 7. It takes at least two hours to climb the mountain. Once visitors reach the Ras Dashan, it takes at least two hours to reach its peak. This is the most arduous part of the entire journey. People who refrain from climbing up the mountain can turn away with their heads held high. After all, the journey to the base was an experience in and of itself, and the mountain climb can be quite dangerous. Otherwise, the climb up is a splendorous journey that can contain even more wonders and surprises. 6. It is protected under the National Reserve Act. The Simeon Mountains National Park is protected by Ethiopia's National Reserve Act. This legislation isn't just about protecting local flora, fauna, and settlers, but is also about expanding the borders of the park. What this largely means for visitors is that they cannot hunt game within the park premises. They might also be subject to punishment for desecrating the park in one way or another. 5. It was created by volcanic eruptions. The Simeon Mountains National Park was created by a natural disaster. 20 to 30 million years ago, a volcanic eruption happened in the area creating the highlands. The majority of the mountain mass is also a leftover remnant of a giant shield volcano. Over millions of years, heavy erosion of the Ethiopian plateau created serrated mountain peaks, deep valleys, and high sheer cliffs, generating some of the most spectacular scenery in the world. 4. It was listed as a World Heritage Site in 1978. The Simeon Mountain National Park was one of the very first places to be declared a World Heritage Site by the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, in 1978. As a World Heritage Site, 
the mountains have international legal protection by the UN. The primary selection criteria because of its outstanding biodiversity and spectacular landscape. However, because of the rapid decline of some of the local species, the park was also added to the list of World Heritage in Danger in 1978. 3. It is home to over 180 species of birds. The Simeon Mountain National Park is home to over 180 species of birds. Six species are endemic to Simeon and can very rarely be found anywhere else. Among the most spectacular bird species in the area are the bearded vulture, the tawny eagle, and the thick-billed raven. Bird enthusiasts find particular delight in visiting these mountains. However, regular people can enjoy the avian diversity as well. 2. There are nearby hotels to help visitors. Visitors who are worried about going through a grueling experience need not worry, as there are a couple of hotels around the area to tend to them. These are the Hotel Simeon and the Hotel Simeon Park. These hotels have attractions of their own, and so, visitors who aren't up to the arduous journey can still enjoy themselves on site. 1. It is home to a number of rare and endangered plants and animals. A key thing about the Simeon Mountains National Park is that it's home to a number of rare and endangered plants and animals. This includes such creatures as the Whaley ibex, the Simeon fox or Ethiopian wolf, and the Jaluta baboon. As much as these creatures are endangered, they are also the primary attraction of the place and care must be taken to protect their numbers. Coming to the end of this video, we hope you've been amazed by these facts about the Simeon Mountains National Park in Ethiopia. Even though it looks great, there's a whole lot more to it than those grand mountains. To learn more, check out other videos on this channel. There's a lot more where this came from, which will help you stay informed, entertained, and engaged. Hope you enjoy the video. That's all for now. Until next time, have a great day.